Hello everyone, Fox Den Gaming here with a quick little episode of Shantae Half Genie Hero. Now, I the amount of time I've spent trying to get this goddamn game recorded is a, it's actually ridiculous how much time I've put into trying to record this game. This is my third attempt. No, actually, if you want to get real into it, it's more like my fifth. I'm not including, like, before, but yeah, um, I just, I want to play sh so, ba so bad, but I want to do it blind on the channel, however, that's, like, lost, because I've done this first part so many times, that's not even funny, but, um, yeah, I do want to play this, so I'm dropping Sonic Adventure for right now, because, like, I just can't. I mentally can't deal with it, I need a break. So that's why I'm deciding to play and potentially another game. Um, and when I beat one of these games I'll probably go back to Sonic Adventure or just later on when I feel like playing it again. Because I will eventually feel like playing it again, but you know, it's just right now I do not really want to. I'm really just not into it right now. So yeah, but this game is one of my favorite, like, or I guess this video game series is one of my favorites because I love the art style and it kind of shows off this, like, this nice sort of visual idea that, you know, you don't always have to play it safe by the books when it comes to, like, oh, sexualizing characters, you know. I wouldn't even argue that these characters are sexualized in any way, but yeah. Um, it's just that modern day stuff is like, oh man, she's having an acid trip. Messenger from the genie realm, great danger, agent of darkness, corrupt, use your powers, save both worlds. How do we stop it? Well, how? Blah, blah, blah. Don't go. Oh man. So yeah, a lot. Of, I guess I gotta go into um a little bit of Shantae's backstory, which is Shantae. Shantae's backstory is all about like Shantae's half genie, half human. So her whole thing is like she doesn't actually know where her mom is at this point. And her dad is dead? Something like that. So yeah, um... Yeah, so this, this is a basic, like, you know, 2D action game. It plays the same. You know, you whip Harry stuff, do that stuff. I'm also playing this with a gamepad. You need to play this with a gamepad if you are playing this along with me. Because it is... It is impossible to play. And this is another time where I use a d-pad instead of a analog stick I know some people are gonna be like why why do you use a d-pad instead of an analog stick the thing is I feel like they're more accurate when it comes to platforming stuff so yeah, I'm gonna um, talk to this girl who has the receipt and we're in a bathhouse, so that's that's fun. Also, like the way this game is, it's just it's a very hilarious game when it comes to like its self awareness of what it is. I think it's it's bordering on that weird line of like Yep, magnets. Magnets, how do they work? But yeah, um, this game is very much like teetering on the line of like is it still child friendly at this point with how much like fan service it gives and I really do think that it's fine because kids aren't gonna understand it you know what I mean but yeah huh also if you're listening to like some of the the voice acting that's 
like being shed between each character um it's you can hear that huh Yep, there's a Heartless stealing a thing. Yeah, it's Kingdom Hearts all of a sudden. Cannon fire, oh man, shit's going down. So I want to say, I think that this um, Shantae game is a lot better than most of them. And my reasoning is because I'm going to go get some, get these. So you don't have to farm more money. If I had a potion, if I had enough to buy a potion, I would have bought one right there, but I can't see it. Um, this guy's hatchery. Yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm used to other controls for talking, and it's like, it's a little weird. So, yeah. It's, 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 welcome to the level select menu. That, that's what it is. I do want to say that this game is very um, well polished when it comes to how it's presented, and I'm probably going to go over a little bit in this episode just because. But yeah, this game is presented very well. It's really good when it comes to just like how smooth everything is. And I'm just ignoring the dialogue because I just, I just don't care. If you really care about it, you can pause it and hopefully you'll see it. Yeah. So, so sub screen cool just hit the start button because it's just a little thing where it explains how the sub screen works and all that but yeah you're gonna notice something about this first level and I'll just I'll shut up so that you guys can listen to it you hear that right it's if if you don't know who that is singing in the background, that's actually Christina V. That's Shantae's voice actor as well. And I just want to say that this is a weird case where I am okay with lyrics being in video game music. I wish that more video game songs actually did have lyrics to them because it would add a lot of character to some songs, but just. People just don't do it that much, and honestly so. Very few people can nail like the singing parts if they're like, you know, voice actors normally. And just, it costs a lot more to make it. But I am glad that this is in the game because it is by far like my favorite track in the, in most, um, in most indie games. God damn it. <laughs> I'm, I'm really bad at this. This is the first level. Oh no, it's Cuphead all over again. Yeah, I, I want to talk about that eventually, but not right now. Um, focus more on other things. So I do want to say that at the time of recording, um, the Nintendo Direct is going to be coming out. Ha, got him. I just wanted to get him to get him. No mercy one, right? So, I... Like, the time of recording... I'm going to be watching the Nintendo Direct after this, so I won't be talking about much Nintendo stuff right now. I'm going to be more talking about just general stuff. And that might be going on for like the next three episodes, so I apologize for that. If you want me to talk about, you know, like what are my opinions on this thing or whatnot. But I do want to talk about um, the thing that happened with Felix, otherwise known as PewDiePie. You know, the big, most subscribed YouTuber. I don't know if you've heard of him, but yeah. I do want to talk about that a little bit because there was a controversy. Now, it uh, the, I I want to be f completely frank and honest about this. I don't agree with any party in this situation because I don't think Felix should have said what he said. Which, if you don't know what he said, he basically dropped an N bomb, and you know that that's a big deal. Get the music off. Um, yeah, he dropped an N bomb during a stream, and that's a big no-no. Like, I, I honestly don't think that you should be using the racial slurs and all. Like, say what you want and swear is, like, you can drop a C-bomb all you want, and you can drop an F-bomb all you want. 
But the second you start like actually dropping racial slurs is when I start getting annoyed with it. And it's not even for the fact that I'm offended for the people that the slur affects. But it's just more like it It's such a nasty word. You know what I mean? Like it I don't know how to describe the feeling I get when I hear somebody drop like the end bomb. It's so weird. It's like it's like a sin almost in like just entertainment because like say what you want like I I know people that are gonna give me crap for thinking like this but um like you know it's like censoring the word gives it power and blah 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 but it, it you can just not say it and then just not care when other people say it you know that's an idea but I'm getting off track so I, I'm not trying to sympathize with him either. I'm just saying um, that I don't agree with um, him saying it, but I also don't agree with the Firewatch um, developer who is now DMCAing um, the Let's Play that he did, which was years ago. Keep in mind, you know, and he actually got one of the videos taken down, so that's a big deal. Granted, he already made most of his money off it. Let's be fair. But now it's just making a bigger deal than it already is. And whether you like it or not, like, I don't think that what somebody says in a video that's not even pertaining to your game should determine whether or not you allow them to do a let's play. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care exactly if, like... Like, they could have said something really horrible. Like, this person, how should I say it? Um, Felix shouldn't have his video demonetized for something that he said recently, especially a video that's, you know, years old already. And it's like, it's just causing unnecessary drama and inflation and bringing more negativity to something that really doesn't need any more. Uh, poop toot, haha, funny. I'm, I'm sorry I'm talking about something that's actually really serious right now. But like, my biggest issue with this is more the fact that this Firewatch developer, who apparently cares about, you know, Let's Players as well, is making such a big deal about you know him saying that and it's like oh my god dude I get it it, it it's bad that he said those words okay I, I do not agree with him by any stretch of the means you know but you bringing more attention to it by basically DMCAing a video and then bringing into question the whole fair use concept of Let's Plays, which by the way, that's what I'm more pissed about. It's not the fact that he DMCA'd a video. I really don't care. I know that Felix isn't going to be hurting for money because he got a video DMCA'd. But it's the idea that now you have brought on this whole fair use, like, drama that ultimately is a... is going to affect everyone. You know, it's going to affect everyone on the platform. And because of that, it's like... Like, we just got out of the ad apocalypse, right? We, we just got over this whole crap shoot of like, oh, the ads aren't paying as much. Like, we're starting to climb out of it, and then, you know, Felix, who really shouldn't have as much of a spotlight put on him at all times, but, you know, he is the poster boy of YouTube, so whatever... But, you know, he he shouldn't have all this, like, basically, like, spotlight on him, no matter what. And he shouldn't speak for all YouTubers. But the thing is, you know, people that want to paint YouTubers, which is any media outlet, because let's be honest, YouTubers directly compete with media outlets. Guess what? People trust YouTubers more. It's just a fact. People 
YouTubers are way more transparent about what's going on. And they don't have, like, they have no reason to hide anything. You know, I mean, they do, but they don't hide things, like, in a negative way. Like, if it's, like, something personal about their life, yeah, they don't broadcast it. But if, like, something's going on where they need something or they or something's going on legally, they flat, they flat out stay it. Because that's how it is. And the fact that Felix, a single YouTuber who isn't even, like, really... Like, he's not what I would call, like, the main meat of YouTube. Like, he does not represent that. I feel like he represents a very weird minority case. But yeah, I'm getting off topic. This is running on a little bit too far, so... In the next episode, we'll see why we got fired. Yeah, have fun. Bye-bye.